Mama Cuzzo in the house. She in the house. She in the house. Mama Cuzzo in the house. She in the house. She in the house. Mama Cuzzo is in the building. What up, fam? Y'all already know what we do. We come to say, but do you mind, please? Thank you. Our Father was joining him. We thank you, oh Father God, all today, oh Lord. Lord, I ask you, oh Father God, as my family and those kids go on, oh Father God, I ask you that you protect them and keep them safe, oh Lord. Lord, I ask you that this food be a nourishment to my body, oh Father. Just start asking your name. Amen. 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 What up, fam? I got me some crawfish today. You already know. They spicy, spicy, spicy. Yep, spicy. Not spicy. Spicy. Let me try me. Oh, Dean, I got me some butter back here. I ain't bring my spray butter because I got the dip this. You know what I'm saying? I got a really dip this crawfish. Yeah, I know it's a lot of them. Oh, here they go. Oh, I had a taste for them. Yeah, they good. Oh. You want some? You got some. Yeah. You got some. Wash your hands, cause you know <laughs> they got Corona going on. But you still got that. So go wash your hands. Wash them. Got some. They are so good. Oh my god, they good. Oh, they good. Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh oh, oh, huh? Oh, let me eat. Mm. Mm. Let me eat some. Reach your hand on on in and get up. No, I shall. I best with y'all, cause y'all shall. But you shall, I'm a shall. Talk to you in a minute, though. Damn, they're good. Oh, yeah, good. They're back hot again. Hmm. this i've been eating hot stuff for about like three days you already know it don't you i've been eating for real hold on then what i want to talk about today hold on i got a question to ask you a real serious question <laughs> i do though for real i got something to ask you i don't know Tell me the truth, okay? I know you're gonna tell me the truth, but you always tell me the truth. So just hold on, let me eat my stuff, cause yeah, I've been making it spicy lately. Cause I like it like that. I told you that. Let's hold it up. You want some? Go and get you something that fine. You gotta let them up. Here we go. Get you some. Stop looking at them. Stop looking at them and get you some. That's all I'm going to All right. Say, for instance, hypothetically speaking, if you moved somewhere, you just went on moving somewhere, right? You had a friend, your best friend. And when you get there, where you decide you're gonna move to, hold on, hold on. Let me eat a little bit more. So 
Let me mind. I mean, I could eat them like this. I could eat them. I want to eat them. I'm finna ask you the question. Oh. This graphic is good to me. Huh? They really good. They yeah. took a look at my face. But they good. They really good. All right, fam. Here I go. Say you had a friend. Not a guy friend. A close friend. Say you had a close friend, right? And y'all discussed that you was gonna come live with her, get on your feet, and find you somewhere to live. Right? So I know y'all gonna tell the truth, but I just want to know your opinion about it, because I'm gonna tell you mine in a minute. But anyway, so y'all discuss you coming from another state. I'm sorry. You coming from another state, right? And you and your friend been talking for years on the phone. You decide, hey, I want to move where you are, right? So you move. Okay, they say, okay, sure. Sure. You can stay here. I was like, whatever you want me to pay, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want me to pay, I don't have no problem with paying that, you know? So, well, when you're on your way here, they don't answer the phone for you. They won't even answer the phone for you. Yeah, they don't answer the phone for you. You're, you're close to me. All right. Now, you're going to stay with someone else. I mean, you made preparation to stay with someone else. Right. So you go to stay with someone else. But you stand with these people. These people help you, you know. They help you. So, along the way, your friend girl, somehow, y'all still communicate. You know what I'm saying? But y'all stop communicating for a while. I'll say for a while. Right. Yeah, let me tell y'all the truth. All right. When I first got here, right, my best friend lived here. The deal was me and my best friend was supposed to. I was supposed to live with her to get on my feet. And then, you know, go on about my business, you know. But on my way here, she wouldn't answer the phone for me. Right? So, make a long story short. My sister's friend, best friend, ended up taking me in, which I'm very grateful for that, you know? And I will always be grateful for that, okay? So, so my sister's best friend ended up taking me in. So I lived with my sister's best friend about like six months, you know, about six months, I'd say. Really got on my feet, tried to somewhere to live, you know? So, me and my other friend, I started going over there because I really didn't know anyone. You know what I'm saying? So, I was kind of like really still talking to her, you know? So, so I don't know. So, I was, we was really still communicating, you know? So, for a while, I said about a year, we, we stopped. That's not it. I finally stopped talking to her once I got kind of used to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? And me and my sister, best friend, really started hanging out. We really started hanging tight. So, we really started hanging real tight. So I started finding my little way through Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? But in the process, my friend girl would call every now and then. She would call every now and then. I'm sometimes I would answer. Sometimes I went out to I was already aggravated. I'm sorry. I knew y'all don't like me too. Sometimes I would always sometimes I wouldn't answer. Sometimes I would answer for what she called. So as a year passed, I feel like I don't have no grudge against somebody, you know. I don't hold grudges, fam. 
I just really go about my business. I never held a grudge against you. So, in the process, me and her started back talking and stuff, which I had forgave her for everything went on. You can't. I, I forgave her for that film. I, did, I really did. So, put my mouth freezing. So, in the process of me forgiving her for it, we started communicating, started talking. During the pandemic, you know, we started kind of like talking a lot, you know, hanging out. <clears throat> encouraging each other, you know. So we kind of like started back hanging. Started like talking and stuff. But I ain't mean, like, this is a young lady that comes to Mississippi. When she comes to Mississippi, she's going to stay with me. She always comes to stay with me. You know, so we got over there. I'm over it now. So anyway, I want to ask you a question. This is a question. No, you read it too. I already know. I already know. That's a question. What if the tables turn? Now, what if your friend needs you? I'm not saying they need you. No, I'm not going to say they need you. No, I'm not going to put it like that. But what if they had the issue that you had when you first got here? Would you invite them into your home? Would you be angry and say, wow, she did me like that, forgive her, she ain't coming up, yeah. I really wanna know. Okay, now can I tell you what I feel? I can tell you. I feel like you don't do it to the Yeah, I know what they did though. I know. I know. I already know. I know what you're saying. But who's to say? Who's to say, fam? But I'm going through a test. Who's to say? We don't know, do we? No, we don't. Who's to say that God put me to a test? Would you bring them in? Or would you say, she not coming back? Look what she did to me. So you know what I did for him? on the phone. I said, you ever you come here? You can come here. You ever need to come here? At any given time, I will not mistreat you. I will treat you with respect and kindness. Because that's just something I couldn't do. I'm pretty sure I could talk some more noise about it. I could talk some good noise about it to you right here and right now. You know what I'm saying? But why? Why knock my blessing? Because you know there's a blessing out of it. Let's keep it real, fam. Let's but it's like you have to do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Doing people like that for him. You know what God will do? God will make them need you. For real. So I'm asking you. What would you have done? Would you have turned the other cheek? No. Yeah. No. Or would you invite them in? 
like the old saying, my grandma would say. My grandma used to say this all the time. And my mom, my mom used to say this. My mom still say this. You don't know that's the Lord coming back. Parents, you would give him a glass of water. Or give him someone to lay his head. Or just a kind word. You, you, you feel me, fam? So, I couldn't do nothing like that. Just because of what they did to me. Now, back in the day, back in the day, back in the day, I came over here and be like, uh uh. That EMF ain't coming in my house. That B I T C H. Uh -uh. I would have slung some words. I would have slurred those words. You, know, you feel me, man? But. Because uh -uh. God has been too good to me. But I do know the one thing. Pride won't let. Pride get in the way when they do you, when somebody do you wrong and you try to help them. Pride really gets in the way of that. Yeah. It gets in the way bad. Hmm. Yeah, people don't want you to help them. They know what they did to you. And people know what they did to you. Gonna help them. But fam, would you invite them to your home? Or would you have missed your blessing? I'm just curious. Because, like I said, I got to change the heart now. You know, we talk, we hang out, we still funny. You know, I don't hold no bit of grudge no more. Mm. Yeah, I am. Dude, dude, that got hot. Excuse me. <laughs> I was been a talk joke. Yeah, I had a uh, problem. But I tell you what, though, we got to just learn to forgive people. We do. We do. I may be curious. I just sweep everything on the room and just go on. That's just me. But what if you had a family? And your husband and your kids was together. And then all of a sudden, you have a sister or a brother, and you want them to come live because they don't have nowhere to go. Things is hard, and they leaving their spouses, and they doing this, and they doing that. And now they need to come live with you and your husband. And your husband says, I don't think that's a good idea. But this your sister or your brother. That's a good idea. Would you bring your sister and your or your brother in anyway? Tell me what would you do about that? Would you would you say forget that? I'm bringing my brother or my sister in here and lose my good husband, the man that helps me. I don't have no complaints about him. We just together, we friends. We got a good family over here. Bring your sister or brother in there anyway. That's a hard thing because the man you love is providing for your house and the king and your castle, the hell in his business. He says that your sister can't come. You don't think that's a good idea? I know first thing you're gonna ask him, why you don't think that's a good idea? What if he says, okay, baby? You know how your sister is. She's a party animal. We got these kids. Our house is in control. But your sister still ain't got nowhere to go. And your brother too. Would you take him in? To 
despite of what your spouse says. Would you take them in? I'm just curious. I just really want to know would you take in spite of your husband says, baby. Uh oh. No, fam, I'm shining today. Okay. Anyway, what if he says, baby, that's not a good idea? No. Y'all discussed it? He told you it wasn't a good idea? What do you tell your sister or your brother? Would you tell them what your husband said or your spouse would you show what your spouse said? How would you handle it? I'm, I'm curious. If, if the spouse said no, baby, I don't think that's a good idea. You going to bring them in. You gonna bring them in, fam. You gonna bring, you gonna bring them in. That's that's tough. That's kind of tough because me and my husband together, we we doing the thing, we doing it, we living life, we happy. Now my family calling, they need to move in. You telling me, uh-uh, uh-uh, not right now. What if it was his mama or your mama? He said, mm, not right now. That's a good idea. What would you do, fam? Would you bring on your mama in there anyway? I know mama is different. She different. Depends. You say depends. Oh, if you bring, it depends on whatever you bring mommy. No, no, I'm bringing my mommy in. I'm bringing her in, fam. I'm bringing her in. Cause see, I know my mommy ain't gonna cause no harm. She ain't gonna be in our business. She gonna stay out the way. I know for a fact that's what my mama gonna do. So she coming in now. And I'd be willing to lose my husband because she's a good lady, right? If she's a good lady, like my mom. Oh, I'll leave him. If that's what it takes. Bye bye. Are she coming in there? Oh, you gonna go in the house and stay over there? One or two? However you wanna do it. Just aside, though, fam. If your spouse told you don't let your sister or brother come live with you, cause they homeless, would you? If you have had a friend that betrayed you and left you out there, and you had nowhere to go, and now you got somewhere to go. They don't. Would you invite her into your home? I can't wait to hear this. Uh, Cause I'm just so curious. You, I didn't invite y'all. I didn't ask y'all for no offers. I can't offer you. Yeah. I offered you one though, didn't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I was just so busy running my mouth. I was just busy running my mouth. I'm telling you, I was so busy running my mouth till I forgot to even ask y'all. But I told you to stick your hand in there, didn't I? I'm sorry, I was just running my mouth talking. Can't eat. These ain't as hot as the other, but they hot. I didn't make them hot. Uh, you tell me hot because of my mouth. But I didn't make them real hot. But they good though. I made them hot though. Not like the other. Yeah. 
I wish I would have done. I'm about to get out of here, man. I'm about to get out. Hold on. Wait on you. You ready? You ready to go? You ready to go? All right. Mama cousin's so in the house. She in the house. She in the house. Mama cousin's so in the house. She in the house. She in the house. Mama cousin was in the building. Mama cousin was about to exit the building. But until then, fam, I'm waiting on them comments. Because I really want to know. Would you forgive them and let them in? Would you listen to your husband and take his advice and say, no, you can't come? Let me know.